So now we know the conditional probability theory. So what is Bayes uh, theorem? So Bayes theorem is the one way that we are reversing the conditional probability. So the conditional probability is that P uh, e on the condition F equals P both together happened. divided by P that conditional F. OK, so now that we want to know the condition that event E condition on something on F, but we only know that the probability that F on condition of E. So we only know the P that F on E. So how can we base on this one to calculate the probability that E on F. So that is the, uh, the base theory can resolve this problem. So basically, that is what we already know. And so we know, so we, we define that P E on F equals both together divided by P of F. And also those two happen together equals um, this condition on F multiplied the probability of F. We also define that P of F equals this one, okay, where both happened on the property that F happened together with E not happen. P that E not happen. This refer to E not happen. And finally, we have this very, very long formula. So. Uh, we are able to resolve that problem, see that P, that E on the condition F equals this one. Now the P uh, condition F on E and also P of E and also P of F, which also equals this one. Okay, but in either case that to get the condition probability of E on F, we can rely on the information of P of F on E, and also P of E, and also P of F, and also P not E, and also P not, uh, P not E. Okay, so that is the kind of gen basic idea. So you don't need to remember all the specific formulas, but that idea is that to get the probability of E on F, we can get that one based on P F on E, and also P on E, and also P on F. P of E and P of F. Okay, so let's see one example. Let's say that imagine that there is a certain disease, for example, COVID-19, that can affect uh, one person in every 10,000 person. So that P of the disease. And we have a test that gave correct answer that uh, 99 times. So that means that you will get positive if you have disease and you get negative if you don't have that disease and actually this is very very low accuracy and you will see you will see why okay so now my question is that so what is the probability that if you uh, you really have the disease on the condition that you got a positive test okay so what is the P that you really have the disease on the condition that you got a positive test? And based on the previous word we talked, mentioned that this one equals this formula. And the P that you have the disease on the condition that uh, or you have the positive test on the condition of you have a disease, we know that that is 0.99. So that's from here. The P that you have a disease is this one because every 10,000 person has one, one people will get that disease. So the P that you don't have a disease is this one, that's pretty high. And P on the condition that you don't have the disease but you got a positive test, which is one minus 0.99 because only 0.99 is accurate result, so which is 0.01. So now if we bring all those values together to this formula, we will get uh, this result that if 
you have a disease and you got the the condition that if if you have a positive test um, but you and also you really have disease so on the condition that you, you really have a positive uh, so the p that you really got that disease on the condition that you had a positive test is less than one percent okay is less than one percent so this may kind of be a very shocking that is because this accurate the 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 test the accuracy of this test is a very 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 low okay so that is very very low and also you can think that in another way so that imagine that you have one million people and the 100 person will have the disease okay 100 person will have disease and also 99 of those people of those 100 will have test positive test and for the other people that do not have disease those almost 10,000 people will ha also have t positive test because of a low accuracy of this test and now you can see that this only 100 almost 100 percent of these people will get positive so that means that so that is how we can get this okay so that is the Bayes theorem and Bayes inference is that we are using the Bayes theorem to make some predictions and we can update the posterior distribution of the target okay uh, so there's nothing new on this slide so this is also from our uh, previous slides that from Bayes theorem but here we just have some new names about those each part so what we just gave each name the um, um, each part a new name so that pH is what we call it, um, prior probability E is called evidence and the result is called posterior probability and P that of event E on condition H is called likelihood and then P of E is called model evidence okay so that just gave each part an name okay so this is the base uh, inference and let's see one more example that how we can use that one to do some real calculations in the world okay so let's say that we have some record <coughs> that uh, the weather not the day that we played golf and also the weather of that day so it can be sunny it can be rainy and also it can be overcast for example if that was sunny day we didn't play golf but on that sunny day we played golf and on that overcast day we played golf and not on a rainy day we played golf okay so that is the data that we have so now that we are asking that what is the probability that we play golf when the weather is sunny okay so what is the probability that we play golf on the condition that the weather is sunny and we know that based on the base inference or base theorem that equals the probability that the day is sunny on the condition that we played golf times the probability of playing golf and also probability that the day is sunny okay and let's say that p of e s so so what is the probability that p of e s so we know that here we have uh, 14 records so how many years one two three four five six seven eight nine so the p of es is nine divided by 14 so that is 0.64 and among those es so how many days are sunny okay so let's say among those es how many days are sunny so uh, one two three okay so that is 3 divided by 9 so that is 0.33 and what is p of sunny so over those 14 days how many days are sunny let's say 1 2 3 4 5 
So 95 divided by 14, so that 0.36. So now we have this one, we have this one, and we have this one. So if we bring everything together, we will have the result that what is the probability, probability that we blink off on the condition that the day is sunny. So that is this number times this number divided by this number, so that is 0.6. Okay, so that is base uh, inference.